You know, before programs like Yahoo and Google Maps took over, there was a St. Albert man who was paving the way for outdoor enthusiasts. Our Carla Turner has this story on runningmap.com. So about there, we turn the corner, so that's one, two, three. Puts us Stringing down streets. here by... Simple, maybe, but accurate? Now when we run it, now we GPS it, we actually come down to here. Oh. So what you're saying is it's not the most it accurate wasn't, wasn't way the in the world. Way of doing it. No. This is how runners like so Randy is, Trotman so used really to time and track their routes until the marathoner put his other skill set to work. So I had the idea one day because I'm a multimedia developer, I could create this application that would allow me to interactively click on the map, draw my route, and then determine the distance for me. When you go to the website, it will determine actually where you are right off the bat and give you a map of your location. Trotman started by scanning maps to runningmap.com, but a near copyright lawsuit from the city of Calgary threatened to pull the plug. Because uh, Google Maps had come out that year, um, it changed the whole face of mapping on the internet and I was able to use an API from um, from Yahoo and so within two weeks I relaunched with a whole new mapping engine uh, that had maps for all over North America. Now the site leads the way for an estimated 100,000 runners including Allison Watson. It allows us to be very precise and when you're training for an event like a half marathon or a marathon um, it's really important not to overtrain and do too much distance. Oh they want to be very precise they're really fanatic about getting if I'm going six kilometers I want to do six kilometers right on the dot. We've got a, uh, a bank of routes already drawn up and ready to go so we use that most of the time but sometimes we'll create something a little different. Trotman recently finished creating something new for Running Map. When Apple released the iPhone I saw uh, a big opportunity here. Yes now um, there's even an it, app for that. It's got start you go and run around stop it tracks your location based on uh, waypoints that are are dropped based on your location and then upload online or on the go Randy's idea is tugging at the shoestrings of runners around the world all those things together gives you a really sort of nerdy way to analyze your performance on a day-to-day -day basis Randy is already working on some applications that will help you track your pace and speed. To check out the site for yourself, log on to runningmap.com.